I wouldn't blame you if you don't believe a single word which I'm about to share with you what my psychic said about Melissa Kadic because it is so creepily accurate. I myself wouldn't believe it if Sun Goddess Tarot wasn't my personal friend. If you're new to my channel or a new subscriber, I want to explain to you that I'm a body language expert and I'm also a face reading expert. Face reading not in terms of fortune telling, but under the science of epigenetics, we believe that the character of a person is manifested on the face. I've done quite high profile projects and I've uh, appeared on international television like uh, BBC, Australian Channel 7, Philippine Broadcasting Corporation, Channel News Asia and among others. Recently, I taught on the idea of bringing a psychic in and I wanted this year to look into a case called the Delphi murder mystery on about two teenagers in Indiana. It was a request by one of my subscribers and when she came in and she did a reading, it was creepily accurate that even some of the comments in that uh, YouTube said that the psychic is fake. She Googled uh, the information and she's just saying what we already know. Well, uh, to the skeptics that's watching this, it's going to be the same thing. So uh, no point sticking on if you are going to be a skeptic for the rest of you who are open enough. I'm going to tell you that in this program, the psychic is going to make a very big audacious call and going to reveal who killed Melissa Kadic. I'm going to bring you up to speed, those of you who are not familiar with this case. The setting is in Sydney, Australia. Uh, Australia, a place I like. Sydney, I've been once. Various parts of Australia almost 15 times. Um, well, I've been following this case, I've got to admit it, and it's very intriguing. Melissa Caddick started a Ponzi-like scheme. She attracted lots of investments from her rich friends to a tune of $25 million and then suddenly she disappears. For weeks, uh, no one hears of her. Her husband doesn't know where she is. And then, then I approached Sun Goddess because in the last video she did so well and I wrote to her and I said, hey, do you want to have a go at another high profile case? And I wrote down Melissa Caddick and she said, can. Can is a, like Singlish, okay? We invented this language in our country. Yeah, everything is shortened. Uh, you, would, would you like to give me a context about Melissa Caddick? I don't want to Google about her and mess up the objective that comes with using her intuition and I you know I wanted it to be even more difficult and I said no uh, if I if I thought if I don't give you any context it would be more authentic let me know if you do need the context and she said well the best you give me a context because it helps her to focus I know what she means because she want to ask certain questions so all I gave her was Melissa is a con artist with a Ponzi scheme that has gone missing are you guys ready for this? The psychic came back and said, I'm not sure what Melissa does. I think she's not, she did not leave on her own accord or kidnap. I think she's dead. Okay, Sun Goddess have not Googled. She doesn't know anything about this case. If she makes such an audacious call that she's dead. Okay, one up for her. But I, uh, it wasn't planned for her to die. Just one thing led to another kind of circumstance. She's actually a very shrewd woman, always in control and always call the shots that we already know. Very clever when it comes to money, business and professional stuff, spot on again. But not, not very clever when it comes to matters of the heart. Okay, what does she mean? I'm not sure, but I think she has a third party relationship, an affair that sprung from business dealings or work stuff. It was almost like she wanted to end it because so much was at stake, business, money, family, she has a husband, but the other party was so terribly unhappy, so I think that person is the one that killed her. I don't know where she's been buried, though I see both land and water. Now, isn't that mind blasting? For those of you who know the case, recently they found a, f a shoe with a foot in it severed off, decomposed, DNA has been tested and it's confirmed it's Melissa Kadic. We can assume she's dead or you can assume that she cut off her foot and threw it into the sea for whatever reason. But with this explanation, it is like, okay, it makes so much sense. Someone killed her or threw her into the sea or whatever and uh, part of her foot has been found. Sun Goddess also said, and it's not like she's buried in some kind of hole, uh, you know, that she was then murdered and buried in a hole. Now that could possibly be most of the murder cases, right? Most murder cases, you get killed and then they bury you deep in the forest. 
with this, you can see there's almost five to six spot on predictions. Okay, then she goes on to explain to me how she asked the question and how she uses tarot cards to reveal the answer. So in this one, she said, I thought to look at where she was buried by using my tarot cards. And this one came up and that's what I said. It's, I see land and sea. The two pentacles, pentacles, I don't even know what that is, but she explains that she see land and sea. So she thinks half of the body is on land, half of the body on sea. I guess the one that is the foot must be on land and the rest of the body is still in the sea. I said, Sun Goddess, please tell me you did not Google anything. And she said, no, I, I, I did not. Mm, then she said, I tried to look at who was responsible for the mess. And this card, the two lovers reverse came. And that's why she said, I suggest that could be a complex affair gone wrong involved in business and money. And maybe that's why she is in this state. The, the irony is this, uh, when I first saw Melissa's case and I read both, this is, you watch this video, the husband and also the brother. Days with no answers, Melissa Caddick's family is desperate. You know how much we love you. Um, you just come home, everything's taken care of, you're not in trouble. Melissa, please let us know that you're safe and sound. We love you. She always took her phone. Um, in this case, it was the only time since I've known her that she did not have her phone with her. The husband showed very little emotions and the brother showed tremendous emotions. Uh, it was a red flag for me. I said, like, this is really strange why the husband behaves like that. And when the reporters came to interview him, he would just pull his uh, trash, trash in and get out of the site. He didn't want to talk to the reporters. If it were me, I would try to give as much information, the reporters to get the information out there and maybe I can find my wife back. I just get an impression as a body language expert that the marriage was not going well. Uh, in the first place, I felt that the pairing was quite unusual. Melissa be being very strong, powerful, very astute, very money-minded. And the husband, I believe he is a hairdresser. He's a hairdresser, right? And yeah, I thought it was a bit of a mismatch. So I believe from the body language, he's like saying, Melissa got me into this mess. How oh, I wish I was just married to someone else. Here are more text messages. This one, uh, it says, if you see the cards that I've picked, Sun Goddess says, if you see the cards that I've picked, I want to prove that I don't have prior knowledge for this case. These cards were picked up randomly. And I reply, if I put this up, and when I put this up on YouTube, everyone will think that you did a search on her because you are eerily accurate. And she said, please don't frighten me, ah. Ah, it's like, again, the Singlish thing, okay? And I replied, uh, she was missing for a while and then a shoe appeared and her foot was inside the shoe, found from the sea. And Sun Goddess replied, means she drowned, right? I, and I replied again, she's a shrewd con artist who cheated her friends of millions, disappeared and abandoned her husband who don't seem to know what's going on. Sun Goddess replied, oh my God. She got lovers, yeah, and that's uh, our slang of saying, oh, she does have a lover, doesn't she? Okay, so this is so eerily accurate. And this last text message I wrote, I said, uh, it leads me to think that this third party killed her for her wealth. And Sun Goddess says, it is as clear as day. And I said, now you can turn professional. So I don't know, we don't, uh, we are not a police investigative channel. We do body language, face reading, and in these two episodes, uh, we, I brought in a psychic in. Uh, you know what, you know, there, there's gonna be a lot of skeptic out there. So I was thinking aloud, if you have any question for Sun Goddess, I'm thinking that I will bring her live on YouTube and she will do a live demonstration and read one of you perhaps. What do you think of that? Interesting. This will be done after Easter because after all, Sun Goddess is Catholic. Okay, so I know you have a lot of questions on whether psychic is real, me too. I'm not the psychic, I'm a body language expert. So I've got a lot of questions for her. It'll be interesting to get her live on the show. And then we do a live demonstration. How about that? Okay, if you like this channel, please subscribe and don't miss when we come back after Easter. <laughs>